Hello students, we are learning the lesson expansion and today we will see two problems. We have to find the cube of these two questions. Let's see how to solve it. Let's see the first one. Finding the cube of 3a minus 2b. 3a minus 2b. Now if you remember the expansions, what is the expansion of a minus b whole cube? Right, you should be remembering it a minus b whole cube and we know that the expansion of a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus 3ab into a minus b in brackets minus b cube right this is the expansion of a minus b whole cube and this is what we'll be using to solve the first question a minus b whole cube right so we will write the first question here 3a minus 2b whole cube now we'll just replace the values remember that 3a refers to a and 2b refers to b so what we're going to do is we'll replace the values so after replacing the values this is the expansion that we will be getting we will simplify it further 3 a whole cube 3 q would be how much 3 into 3 into 3 we have to multiply 3 3 times just like I told you to memorize the squares, you should also be memorizing cubes. Alright, so when we multiply 3, 3 times, or so 3 cube is equal to 27. So 3 a whole cube will be 27 a cube. Minus, let's see any numbers that we can multiply. 3 3 is a 9, 9 2 is a 18, 18 a b right and 3a minus 2b between the brackets that's what we'll be writing minus 2b whole cube now 2 cube will be 8 all right so we'll write it as 8b cube now you see here that we will simplify it further what we'll do is we'll multiply 18ab with 3a and then we'll multiply 18ab with 2b so we will just write 18 3s are how much 18 3 will be 54 and a into a is a square and b so when we multiply 18ab into 3a we get it as 54 a square b minus into minus is plus 18 2s are 36 AB into B will be AB square minus 8B cube. Do we have any common terms here? No, I don't think we have any common terms here. So this is the answer for the question that was given. We, this is the expansion of 3a minus 2b whole cube. I hope you have understood this. You can go back through the video and see it again to understand it. Now let us solve the second question that is 2a plus 1 by 2a where a is not equal to 0. Okay, so here is the question 2a plus 1 by 2a. What we have to do? We have to cube this. Right, we have to find the cubes of these terms. Now, this is in the form of a plus b, right? So, a plus will be using a plus b whole cube. And I hope you remember the expansion of a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3ab into a plus b in brackets plus b cube. Okay, so what we'll do now is we will replace the values in the equation. 2a refers to a and 1 by 2a refers to b. That is why we have written it as 2a plus 1 by 2a whole cube. 
and similarly we will expand we will replace the values as we are expanding it two a plus one by two a plus one by all right so after replacing the values this is what we get and we will simplify it further we'll remove the brackets 2a cube will be 8a cube plus uh, we can cancel numerator 2a and denominator 2a leaving 3 alone and so 3 into 2a plus 1 by 2a this is what we'll be writing close the brackets plus we'll simplify 1 by 2a whole cube 1 cube is 1 and 2a whole cube will be 8a cube all right so this is what we get after we simplify it we still have to simplify it further we'll multiply 3 into 2a that would be 6a plus We'll be multiplying 3 into 1. Okay, that will be 3 by 2a. Plus 1 by 8a cube. I hope you have understood till here. Uh, do we have any like terms here? If we have like terms with opposite signs, then we can cancel it. Alright, so 2a plus 1 by 2a is equal to 8a cubed plus 6a plus 3 by 2a plus 1 by 8a cubed. And this is the answer for the second question. I hope you have understood this. You can go back through the video and see it again. And like I always say, practice. Alright, keep practicing as you do maths. Thank you.